Hey everyone, Christopher here from Themeco. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a vertical text to your page. As a starting point, I use the Creative Column 5 Design Cloud content, which you can install by going to Pro Design Cloud and search for the Creative Column 5, which is the one that I used, and install the content. If you want to know how uh, the content is created, you can search for Creative Column Part 5 in our YouTube channel and follow the instructions on that video. The content contains of the left section of the page with the column and the right section with an image and this uh, border feature with the animation. The thing that we are going to add is a vertical text like this one. So everything is the same but there is a text that is added in the right column and uh, it is in a vertical fashion. So. Let's get started and go to Builder to create this vertical text. I loaded the template, which is the Creative Column 5 template, and it contains the Creative Column 5 section with the row and two columns, including the left column and the right column, which contains the image. The thing that I've done is that I added a text element above the image for the right column and this is different from the original Creative Column 5 content. And the text is a simple one with uh, the color, the yellow color and I added some, uh, it, it is bold and I uh, just increased the font size and that's it, it's a normal uh, text now above the image and now we're gonna add some custom CSS code to make it look like uh, this one here in the front end. So let's go, uh, we already have selected the text, let's go to customize tab and click on element CSS to add CSS code specifically for the text element. Okay, let's go step by step. The first step is the uh, dollar sign EL element, which is the selector of the text element itself, the whole wrapper. The first thing to do is to uh, set the position of the text element to absolute. So if I just uncomment it, we're going to see that the text just now goes behind the image and because the uh, column itself has a position rel relative uh, CSS uh, the position absolute will just bound into the column itself. The next step is to just set the positioning of the element which is the left and top to zero to make sure that it will go to the very top left section of the column in question. Okay, the next step is to force the element, the text, to go above the image, over the image. So if I uncomment the Z index 10, you can see that the lifestyle text now is over the image. This is because we want the uh, text bleed into the image uh, at the end. Okay, now comes the cool part, which is the uh, CSS code that we use to rotate and have a vertical uh, text. So to do that, there is a transform command that you can use in CSS and the rotate property. I've just uh, uh, rotated the text element by minus 90 degree. Minus 90 will force the lifestyle to go this way, vertically. If I make it a 90 degree, it will be uh, the lifestyle will start from top to bottom, but I want to have the lifestyle uh, from bottom on up. So minus 90 degrees is the way to go. 
with the rotate transform. Now, the other point is the transform origin. It is important that uh, we know where we want to uh, transform. Uh, the default transform origin is uh, center, center, but not bottom center, center, center. So uh, it will go from the center of the text itself. So if I have the lifestyle, it will start from here and then do the rotation. So that is why if I rotate, it goes this way. But if I just change the origin of the transformation from center center to bottom center, the result is very cool. So it starts from the very bottom of the lifestyle text. If we just see uh, from the bottom and the center, which creates uh, this effect which goes uh, exactly where we want to have the lifestyle text vertically sit uh, at the left section of the image. It is working uh, well as you, uh, you can see here uh, on the front end but we have a challenge and the challenge is when the uh, browser window is smaller so for uh, the laptop it's good but for tablets because the uh, text the headline text bleeds over the right column it goes uh, a little bit miss messy here and the lifestyle goes behind the photography uh, to fix that we need to add a code for only the uh, tablet mode because if we go to the smaller mode uh, because uh, the column goes uh, from the uh, side by side goes to top to bottom uh, the lifestyle is uh, in a good position and even in a smaller way it's okay so the only uh, responsive viewport that is not working correctly is the tablet one so it goes from you can see here uh, 768 pixels to 979 pixels and if you see the code here we did exactly that and uh, in the med uh, query media of the CSS we say that in the minimum width of 768 and the maximum width of 979 pixels we want to perform an additional CSS code now let's get into the code itself so for that specific uh, responsive viewport we want to select the element itself again so the text element and let's do uncomment the uh, command the first thing is to make the text uh, a little bit smaller so 30 pixel will be a good uh, font size for this viewport and I had to add the important uh, one because uh, if I do not do that, so if I just change that, it will not show uh, correctly. So I have to add important to force the element to get smaller for that viewport. The next thing is the transform origin. This time we want to avoid just uh, going uh, very uh, below and the photography is just uh, in a bad position when the lifestyle is uh, in the bottom so if I change the transform origin and force it to be center and center it goes a little bit to uh, the top and it's it's better the next step is to force the text itself to uh, go a little bit into the left side so uh, it will not bleed too much into the image so we add a minus 15 pixel and it now uh, sits correctly on the left and by adding a 10 pixel top it will go exactly how we want and it's, it will sit 
correctly for this viewport and here it is uh, this is how you can add vertical text uh, wherever you want uh, on the content and pages that you want to use thank you everyone and talk to you soon